Hey, it's Motel Granite the Great. Enjoy my videos. Love y'all. Hey, welcome to the Motel Granite Show. I am Motel Granite the Great. And today's particular episode is about a woman, her man, and his friend. A woman, her man, and his friend. I did a song, and you guys can thumb through my library. I sometimes am embarrassed about the songs that I've done because sometimes I spit them out of anger, but anyway, trying to stick to the storyline real quick before I run out of time. Um, the woman has a dilemma. And the dilemma is created because her man's friend tried to talk to her. And everybody that knows anything about relationships, this is a twist and an entanglement, no point intended, that can cause a problem. But what I will do after I come back from this commercial break is go into a little bit more details about the situation. See you guys when I return. All right, thank you, we're back. Once again, welcome to the Motel Granite Show and I'm talking about a woman, her man, and his friend. So the lady is caught in a dilemma trying to decide on whether she should tell her boyfriend or not that his friend tried to talk to her. Now she knows her boyfriend is crazy, that he has a capacity to blow his wick real quick and kaboom and go nuts. So she's caught in trying to figure out what should she do. So in this particular episode that I did, she decides to tell him. So she tells him, what do you think he did? Yep, top came right off of his scalp. And this applies to anybody who has a boyfriend in this particular situation. So. He blows his top and uh, he gets ready to race off to go and handle this particular business because this is a no-no in the male community. This causes a lot of uh, pain and anguish and the ego of a man just can't take it. But what I will do is come back with the final situation in this particular episode that I'm talking about today, the storyline between a woman, her man, and his friend. Be back after this for the last stanza. Okay, this is it. This is the end of a story of the woman, her man, and his friend. So now she's told him he's upset. He went to this little box that he has gray tape on, pulled out his heater, jumped into his Chevrolet, and went rolling in the nighttime, headed to his friend's house. But what he didn't understand 
is that his friend was preparing an ambush for him. The woman who, um, in the scenario whose boyfriend went off, who she told that the friend was talking to her, gave her mother a call and said, what do I do? She felt like she wasn't accountable for what happened in this scenario. The friend shouldn't have talked to me. And then now she's feeling bad because her crazy boyfriend is going to go over there and go berserk. But like I say, now here in this scenario, what ends up happening is it's a two men are lost in this shootout. One is lost by going to the cemetery and one is lost by going to the penitentiary. So now she's 0 for 2 in this situation. She cried for a little while, a couple of months, gets herself back together, and she's back out there doing it again because she needs a man. And her being lonely is not in the equation. So she meets another man out, starts over again. Thank you guys for watching this particular episode. I'll talk to you later. This is Motel Granite the Great for the Motel Granite Show. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down. Comment. Share with a friend. Man, this ridiculous league. Spoken story because they want to see. They go ahead and tell you something that is real. They said, I want to tell you the truth, but don't kill. Your friend tried to talk to me. Now they knew this crazy motherfucker would snap. They just knew that they would go ahead and pop his snap. And for the white boys, they kill their strands. You just knew that that was going to happen then. You tried to talk to him and tried to grab his arm then. They tried to stop him from going to get that small box that got that great tape on it and open up that clock and go inside it and get in that Chevrolet and rock. You knew this. You knew you were stupid, like Cupid. You was hoping you could see blood. That was a deep one. You thought it was a heart. Now he's gonna try to blow your man apart. Your friends gonna do an ambush. The ambulance surely will be called now. You go back inside of the house and try to hide. You call your mama because you scared now. You know Danny is a crazy motherfucker. He's dangerous and he do run the street. You knew you had a thug every day when y'all meet. You just wanted to see what happened when he faced the feet. Telling him that his friend tried to talk to you. You knew exactly what he would do. Go crazy. Go nuts. Pull out his pistol. Buck, 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 buck. You knew his friend would now be dead. But you didn't realize that he would wind up in jail. Now you over two. Get a new dude and start the story over. Tell me what. <laughs> Man, listen. Motel Granite the Great. <laughs> this is a vicious cycle every day. Women do it one time, they do it two. And they stand back and say, What did I do? I did nothing. I didn't tell him to do that. He rushed off. I was just opening that. I could tell the truth about the situation, but you knew that he was dead from that penetration. Yeah, you understood the storyline. Now he's standing there with an orange jumpsuit on his, on his black ass behind. The white guy, he's the same thing as Gil Billy. 